nothing to fear. Why are you... Get back here where I can see you. Yeah, yeah. It's time to meet the Matriarch. Rocket, tell me you have an escape plan. We're gonna summon the Milano. My new buddy will show us the way. We're being very cryptic, Rodent. Yeah, well, I get twitchy when I'm surrounded by giant murder bots. They just want us to meet their new mommy. Speaking of which, who else thinks Quill's ex-girlfriend traded in her cop badge for cult ropes? Come on. What? I'm just saying what we're all thinking. Guardians, we may approach. Peter Quill, order your offspring to come down from there this instant. Maybe I'm out of line, but aren't you a little young for a dress that short? Aren't you a little old to write your name on your clothes? Took you long enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, chatty grandpa gets. Hey, we're gonna get you out of here. Just follow my lead. But this is where we're supposed to be. We're gonna save everybody. I'm gonna save them, I promised. Come on, snap out of it, kid. You're just saying what he wants you to say. I am! But I'm more than just me. What do you mean? Where's your mom? Mom is here. She's right here. Inside me. Oh, thanks for clearing that up. The light... joined us. I thought she was gone. But I can bring her back. They're all waiting... for us to bring them back. All we need... is faith. The Grand Unifier... helped me understand. This is one big con. Trust me, I know a thing or two about- Why can't you just believe in me? Why won't you just listen? Nobody ever listens. Until I show them. You can save her. I promise. Get back! Your scaly mist won't touch one hair on his head! I said get back! Come <laughs> on! 
Peter! Oh, Peter, my boy! Mom! What... what's going on? How... how is this possible? You saved me! That's how! I knew you would never leave me! I... I didn't, I mean... Look at you! Look at you, all grown up! And into the great leader I knew you would become! <laughs> Peter, I am so proud of you. Your father would be so proud. I, I, I don't understand. I, I saw you die. Am I... Did I go back? You are here. That's all that matters. We have all the time in the world now. You and me. And your friends, too. My friends? Sure. The house is plenty big enough. And I want to meet this amazing team of yours and hear all about your incredible adventures. <laughs> that is... You don't know how bad I've wanted this. Oh, nothing will ever break us apart, I promise, Peter. I promise. I can't believe I have you back. Uh, Mom, you're squeezing kind of tight. We have so much... Let go of me. Stop. I can't believe- Seriously, Mom. I can't believe- Please, let go of me. I can't believe I have you back. Uh, Mom, you're squeezing kind of tight. We have so much time to make up for. Maybe we'll- I guess that needs replacing. Plugs are like new, so that's not the problem. That was a little loose. Shouldn't be the cause of the problem, though. Hmm. Might need to top off the oil. Peter! Dinner's almost ready! Yeah, be right there, Mom! Meredith Quill, where do you keep your carving knives? Oh, there's one in the drawer, nearest the stove. All I see is a dull instrument fit for a child. <laughs> That's the one. I will have to bring you a Katathian blade on our next visit. They can slice through solid steel. That's very generous, Drax. I just don't know how often I'll be chopping through something that hard. <laughs> I can also supply a few recipes. My wife makes a delicious axe head soup. That sounds hearty. It actually tastes a lot better than it sounds. Our fiercest warriors swear by it. Well, in that case, how can I resist? There you are, Peter. I was just about to come out and call you again. Some things never change, I suppose. Ah, Peter Quill. Your mother was just telling us about your childhood. Just some of your better adventures? She also told us she had found a suitable mate for you. But you refused to see reason. Drax, you said that would stay between us. You've only been on Earth for half a day, Mom, and you're already playing matchmaker? I've waited this long for grandkids, Peter. Haven't you told her about Nikki, Peter? Nikki? Who's she? She is Peter Quill's illegitimate daughter. Your illegitimate granddaughter. Uh, I was trying to find the right time to tell you? Sounds like we need to have a serious talk over dinner, Peter. Why do I feel like I'm about to get grounded? I believe you still have this. The craftsmanship is shoddy at best. Be nice, Drax. Peter tried. Hey, uh, Quill, can you do something about your mutt? He won't stop staring at me. No, he just wants to play. Maybe you should take him outside and let him chase you around. Har har! You don't know how bad I've wanted this. Oh, nothing will ever break us apart, I promise, Peter. I promise. I can't let go of me. Stop. I can't believe- Seriously, Mom. I can't believe- Please, let go of me. 
I can't believe I have you back. Uh, Mom, you're squeezing kind of tight. We have so much time to make up for. Maybe we'll... That was a little loose. Shouldn't be the cause of the problem, though. Hmm. Might need to top off the oil. Plugs are like new, so that's not the problem. I guess that needs replacing. Peter! Dinner's almost ready! Yeah, be right there, Mom! Meredith Quill, where do you keep your carving knives? Oh, there's one in the drawer, nearest the stove. All I see is a dull instrument fit for a child. <laughs> That's the one. I will have to bring you a Katathian blade on our next visit. They can slice through solid steel. That's very generous, Drax. I just don't know how often I'll be chopping through something that hard. <laughs> I can also supply a few recipes. My wife makes a delicious axe head soup. That sounds hearty. It actually tastes a lot better than it sounds. Our fiercest warriors swear by it. Well, in that case, how can I resist? I still don't know why the hitter doesn't bring his bat with him around the bases. Or why they don't blow up when they run across them. Like mines, you know? <laughs> you two sound like you need to unwind. Sorry, Mayor, it's kind of hard to turn off. You should take a bath after dinner. It's very relaxing. I mean, I've had chicken all my life, but you can make it sound so good. Can I eat in the living room? No way, we're all going to stick at the table and eat together. I don't know how bad I've wanted this. Oh, nothing will ever break us apart, I promise, Peter. I promise. I let go of me. Stop. I can't believe I have you back. Seriously, Mom. Stop <laughs> hugging me. Peter. Peter. What are you doing? I'm so <gasps> Remember taking this off or hanging it up? What the hell? This better not be like some weird episode of the Twilight Zone. You guys aren't in there, are you?
How you holding up? Yeah, I don't know what's going on either. I haven't seen one of these in years. How do you even get a pirate hat out here? I need your help. Mom will be home for lunch soon and I want everything to be perfect. Perfect? For her birthday. That's today. Did you forget again? Dad? Uh, no. No, of, of course not. I just don't remember falling asleep. Great. So can you help me set everything up like we said yesterday? I just need help with the hollow projector, and then um, there's the cake and the present that we got her. I want everything to be perfect before she gets home. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. This looks amazing. Did you make it? Oh, no. I ordered it from the bakery place. <gasps> there's a bake? No! I baked it! Okay, that just leaves the present and projector. Hmm. Uh, Nick? Is it supposed to be fuzzy? Uh, obviously not. It's not focused right or something. Can you refocus it? Wow. It turned out so good. I was sure I messed part of it up. Wait, did you make this? Yeah. It's hollow and the star system around it, and I think I got all the moons. It's beautiful. I just need Mom's present now. I think it's somewhere in my room. Galaxy's greatest dad. Is that supposed to be me? Obviously. Happy birthday, love, Nikki and Peter. Why don't I remember this? Did you find it? Yeah! Okay, put it with the others. Great! A gift. Put it on the table. One birthday present. What did you get her? We got it. On Nowhere. Remember that artist's alley we went to and the painting she really liked? Of Krilar? Oh. Right. Yeah. Anything else? I don't think so. How does it look? Amazing. Your mom's gonna love it. Thanks, Dad. I love you. Uh, wow. <laughs> okay, I, uh... Nikki? Why is the door locked? It's Ma'am. I'll make sure everything's perfect. You get the door. Surprise! Peter? What are you two? No! <laughs> Don't believe it, Peter. This isn't real. She's being tricked. She never should have been here. What she saw. I don't know how. But the three of us are connected now. That thing, that thing has her, but she can still be saved. She has to accept my death. She must. Show her how to let me go. Free my daughter. Save her. Out of here! No! By rejecting the promise, you have proven yourselves unworthy. And you must be destroyed! No! Ah! This is crazy! What are you doing to us? Our 
fucking mind games! I'm gonna puke! Puke later! Focus on Raker! Does anyone else see that light? Yeah, the lighting's real pretty in here! Now kill this guy! out of the scuttle flock. Okay, but do you see a way up? I see a way up. How thoughtful. Rocket! Or, uh, wait! <laughs> Come on, cut him down! Are we sure the pop is the right way? Yes, because it ain't here, and here is a death trap! <laughs> Quill, watch it! Perhaps these stairs lead to the light. No, but they're gonna lead us to the exit!
Mmm. I know that sweet smell anyway. Come on! We can escape through that drain! Are you nuts? That's highly toxic warp drive coolant. We can't just jump in there. We need to keep moving. Maybe I wasn't clear. That's a pool of instant death. What the tracks? Tracks, man. Uh, everything okay? Yes. Okay. So maybe it ain't warp drive coolant. <laughs> That's tingly. Well. We need to talk about your kid trying to kill us. Raker did something to her. This is his... Do you think they reached the old mining sector? No. The Grand Unifier said licked your drones into the lower halls. The heretics would have been disintegrated. Scott Halls? Yeah, maybe. But if we are lost, at least they can't find us? We're screwed. We're lost and we're screwed. I just need to get my bearings. I ain't never been on a ship this big. Trust your instincts, little one. Uh, little one? Eh, guess it's better than abomination. <laughs> you are a silly little thing. So, this is all about bringing back the dead. Half the people I've ever known are dead, and you don't see me trying to burn the world. I would raise planets for a chance to restore my Camaria. You kind of did. No. Scott, what are they doing? Blocking our way forward. So many doors. You two know the way out, right? I do now. There's Gubbins. You named it Gubbins? Yup. Watch this. He's gonna take us to the comm center. There. That's our exit. Okay. We got this. Hey, look! No time to stand around fighting these dudes. The faster we get out, the faster we save Nikki. Move, move, move! Get in here! Gonna need his own space on the Milan. Somebody's gonna. No! Who's gonna be the sex guardian? Crap, it's a dead end. Now what? Up there! That cat walks our way out. If we can get across that gap. Fuck. We got a bigger problem. Drone's back. Quill, find us a way up to that catwalk before we're extra crispy. Peter, tell me you've got a knife. Drax, push that across the gap. Yes. No, 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 no! Wrong way, Drax! What the Scott, man? Drax! What? You headed for doom? That was our... Doesn't matter. We got an exit. Let's go! Well, that thing really wants a piece of you. Too bad. They're my pieces. We should keep moving. <laughs> This doesn't look good, Peter. Whoa. Is this some kind of torture chamber? Hey, uh. Are you okay? I might as well be back on Half World. Some of my fellow experiments bought into this kind of scut. The Kree scientists told them we were chosen, and they failed to snout believed it. Even as they were dying. But you didn't. I was one of the smart ones. Me and, uh... And Stan looking at me. Let's get the flark out of here! I've had enough of this nightmare. Tell me we're close to your comm center. Gubbin sent us this way. He sent us to a dead end. It wasn't a dead end for him. Actually... <gasps> Let's... I just hope Drax's shortcut leads us in the same direction. Yes, the shortcut. Gonna put a bullet in one of these blarkers for every people battery in this place! That's a lot of bullets! I got enough! What is that pounding noise? I think 
around all this exposed faith tech? Rocket, do your magic. Yeah, yeah, just let me do it. That must be the comm relay. Or take it off this heap. So, uh, how long is this gonna take? I'm gonna need your help. Sure. Alright, just stand right here. Okay. Perfect. <sighs> Why are we pretending we did not witness what we witnessed in the ceremony of the chamber? Because the promise is an insidious lie. How can you be certain? Because I wanted to believe it, but I knew when I woke up it... <sighs> We'll all be gone. What did you see? I... am Groot. I saw my mom. Life. There was something else there too. Yeah, exactly. Whatever it is, it's using the girl. Probably fed her alive her own. About Corral. I know she's. Fuck it, Scott! Oh. What? That was completely intentional. The Milano's on her way. Thanks, bud. All right. Let's split, before the Faith Brigade realizes what we did. Where's the Milano supposed to dock? <laughs> it's cute they use the word dock. She doesn't have hangar clearance, so we're gonna have to get creative. Okay, just... don't go overboard. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found a rendezvous spot near the hull. Wait, what? Wait, what? Relax! I know where we're going. This looks like something Rocket would like. Peter, there's a workbench we can use. Better safe than sorry. Let's get it done. All right. One tick. Done. Ah, got a crick in my back because of that. Now let's get out of here while we still can. Ugh. We need to get through here, but the stupid Faith Tech door ain't powered. So how do we charge it? Gotta find something compatible with that power port. Got a lazy death bot here. His battery might still have some juice. 
worth a try. Okay. You just keep on sleeping, buddy. I'm just gonna... doing sure battery in the battery slot right will this work one way to find out hook it up looks like it worked somebody want to fetch the destroyer Drax you coming man hey Drax what's wrong it has occurred to me that this may be nothing more than a lingering dream. It's not, I promise. But we need to go. Very well. What is that? Yeah, that is kind of scary. I've never heard any ship make that noise. Not even Jatari. Is that... singing? More like distant chanting. Whatever it is, that's a lot of people. We have to go this way. Guys, whatever's up there, I just want you to know that there's nobody I'd rather have uh, by my... Is now really the best time for a we're about to die speech? That's not what I'm doing. Whatever that is, it's really close. This is far. There must be millions of them. At least. Yeah, and how are we supposed to help? We need to worry about getting our own tails off this death trap. We survive. And we make sure Cosmo knows everything about this nightmare. He'll know what to do. The church comes for us! Flark! Think we can hijack that skiff? Probably. It'll be an ugly hack. Safety's off, people! I'm surprised your gun even has a safety! Hope the rest of you are as ready for this as I am! No good! It's just like Raker's shield! Reckless tracks! Zealot. A risky proposal, Tree. Okay, let's see what we can do with this scut. Come on. Come on. You sure you can? Whoa! If just one small faith battery can power one of their robots, imagine the power they harness here. And they're conquering planets now. Even this is small scale. Did you hear that? Hear what? There was... No! We're okay. We're just bouncing off the shield. What the scut? Shields down! Blast them! Keep your heads down! I got this!
Skip, let's find one fast, people. Yeah, this whole ship stinks. It's body odor. Faithful don't seem to wash. It's worse than that. It's like we they... don't need the details. There's our ride. Come on. I believe I understand. <laughs> understand what? The words they all spoke. There's no end to them. Rocky, can you outrun them? Now we've got the same skip. The shield's blown! They're gonna keep him off of us!
I think we trashed them all anyways. Hang on. You feel that? No. The vibrations are different here. We're getting close to the edge of the ship. And our way out of here. You can detect that? Hello? Whiskers? Stretch across, Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. Yeah, what happens if Gamora don't catch up? Once they realize we're on the Milano, they'll throw everything they got at us. I will not leave Hovat behind again. Hovat? You mean Gamora? Yes, of course. The, the, the lethal one. Gamora asked me to trust her. Flark! How's that thing still dogging us? Run! Go! I hate everything in this ship! Go, go, go! I only got little legs! With your feet, Peter Quill! These boots are heavy, okay? Jump! What? Jump! We need to keep moving forward, Quill! Should get here any tick now. Should? Yeah, well, it's the best I can do. And our window to meet her is getting smaller. You know they're gonna open fire as soon as they detect her. Yeah, we're run in silence. Who knows what kind of sensors Raker has on this thing. These deluded souls do not know when to quit! Rock 
must go back. Are you crazy? I like killing sprees as much as the next guy, but we barely got out of there alive. What about Gamora? She, she made a choice. So you're just gonna abandon her? And Nikki? What if it was Groot? You gonna leave him behind too? I am Groot. Don't talk like that. That's not what this is about. Isn't it though? We're supposed to be a team. Teams don't leave people behind. Tell that to the giant Kratakan army of robots and brainwashed believers we barely got away from! Gamora! Is that...? Yes. How'd you get back? It doesn't matter. I failed. Raker lives. For now. We have to go back. We can't leave Nikki there. What he'll turn her into. Blah, blah, Flarkin, blah. So you got stepdaddy issues and had a horrible childhood. Ooh, Rocket! What? It's true. Guess what? You ain't the only one here who had it bad. It don't mean we're angling to commit suicide because some pseudo priest nutjob is doing surprise nutjob stuff. If we go back there, we're dead. D E D, dead. I'd rather die with honor. <laughs>